Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing you a technique to remove dust spots from your image. Uh, cameras are prone to dust. When you change lenses, dust enters the camera and settles on the sensor and it's visible in the images and particularly if you're shooting at apertures like f16 a very small aperture uh, the dust spots are very noticeable very peculiar uh, if you shoot at wide open apertures the dust is still there but it's not visible on your images uh, if the dust spots are very big in size they are easily noticeable even with in a thumbnail or maybe a slightly bigger image uh, but if the there are tiny dust spots which are which go unnoticed in a bigger image and unless you zoom in into your image that dust spot is not visible to your eyes so today i'll be showing you a technique uh, in photoshop and lightroom both softwares where you can easily detect very small even the smallest of the dust spots so let's jump into the video and open one image first in photoshop and later on in lightroom okay so now we are into photoshop and we have a simple image or landscape image with a tree and sky a uh, lot of sky and you can easily see a lot of dust spots uh, on the entire image now some of them are quite large and uh, you can easily remove them and notice them and remove them but there are a lot of tiny tiny dust spots which are not visible uh, in this at this le uh, zoom level you have to really zoom in and clean each and every dust spot so let's first clean up uh, the bigger dust spots so in adobe camera raw we go to this uh, spot removal brush and in inside the spot removal brush uh, we choose the healing type and not the clone type and uh, the size either we can change it from here by moving the size cursor or on the keyboard you can use the square brackets left and right square and curly brackets together left or right right increases the diameter left reduces the diameter we choose a feather of roughly about 60 uh, it's what i use you might use your own number opacity 100 and uh, we choose a diameter which is slightly bigger than the dust spot that we want to remove we click on it it automatically takes a sample from the surroundings and removes the dust now this is quite easy for this big dust spots which are very obvious uh, let's first clean them up and if I turn off the show overlay uh, the overlays are gone and now I can see the clean image but there are still some dust spots and uh, I'm not sure I have to carefully look at the image to spot them in the first place and then clean them so now what we'll be doing is in the in the camera raw when you are inside the inside the spot removal brush tool at the bottom of this panel we have this visualize spots so just check it and suddenly all the dust spots are distinctly visible as stars in the sky so uh, they look like stars of course uh, let me just switch on the overlay so once you identify those spots click on it it will automatically take a surrounding sample and paste on it it will match the texture and the tonality of the target uh, dust spot the surrounding areas of the dust spot and this way you can easily clean the entire image from corner to corner and now you will notice that uh, most of the dust spots are removed uh, uh, if we switch off the overlay now you'll notice there are hardly any dust spots left and uh, 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 normally we will stop at this place but at this point 
but if we zoom in you'll notice that there are still some dust spots and because of this visualized dust, spot, dust spots we can easily identify them and clean them so increase the diameter uh, we can off, uh, if the dust spot is not easily visible you can change this parameter the strength of this uh, particular tool uh, visualize dust spot you can increase the strength so that it's very easily visible uh, don't increase it too much because accidentally you might clean some sky in the image uh, so here we go and this way you can keep on zooming in and uh, by choosing visualize dust spot and moving the image from corner to corner you can easily clean the image so this is the way we do it in photoshop uh, and once again we uncheck that visualize spots and now we have a very clean image there are some dust spots uh, we'll skip it for now now i'll show you the same technique in lightroom so we jump to lightroom uh, i've opened the image the same image in lightroom in the develop module so we are ready to edit this image uh, by default we have a panel the basic panel and other stuff uh, on the right hand side of the uh, lightroom window this, to clean the dust spots we, we can easily see these dust spots and uh, uh, we go to this place called as spot removal we click on it and now the panel changes to the spot removal so again we have the size feather and opacity clone and hill we choose heal because we are going to uh, automatically heal or repair the dust spot take the surrounding sample and paste it on it uh, photoshop will do it automatically so we click here uh, uh, same thing uh, we can have uh, we can have the bigger st bigger spots removed easily whereas the tiny ones to identify them or to spot them we have the same feature in lightroom but it's not somewhere in this panel but it's at the bottom left corner it's the visualize the same tool visualize uh, visualize spots and there we go and again we have the same tool and we can easily clean all the dust spots and uh, clean the entire image and once we are done with it uh, we can uncheck the image and uh, our image is ready to publish of course i haven't cleaned all the dust spots it's just for illustration so that's all about it so that's all for today i hope you liked this video do subscribe to my channel hit the bell icon to get regular updates uh, from my channel and bye for now